Designer Notes, Subject 128. The Spanish website zonacasio.blogspot.com managed to snag a very compelling up-and-coming release. This one is a new titanium DLC coded square that has a very appealing theme that many fans of the robot genre would be eager to be getting their hands on. It's the new GMW B5000 TVA. Like, comment, and subscribe for content you'd like to see next. Follow us at Instagram at DesignerTDAaruba for behind-the-scenes content. Email us at DesignerTDAaruba at gmail.com. Casio has been ramping up its production of Full Metal Squares, and we just recently had a full video about the history of the Full Metal Squares and every iteration it has released in the past couple of years. Now if I would have known that this one is coming up, I would have waited to release that video. But alas, here we are. This new model bears the same dimensions as the other ones, so we're just going to skip that part of my usual videos. We'll just jump right into the details. The new GMW B5000 TVA, TVA for Titanium Virtual Armor, is a full titanium square that the blog post mentions could be retailing at around 1,600 pounds. It's on par with the previous titanium models, so we better start saving our money for this new titanium model. This one will be coated with a matte black DLC coating all over, with the bezel seemingly having a gloss finish. This has a tough solar display that has a unique pattern for this model, and some extra text around the frame. The buttons on this one is a gloss black finish, which has become a design cue for the titanium models or more premium metal squares. This one also has a positive display that I'm sure is more welcome for the fans of the collection. I wouldn't mind this having a negative display, however. The whole watch's design aesthetic is derived from the expressive style of labeling. While many immediately associates this design to the more popular Transformers franchise, the whole idea is more akin to the Gundam anime series. This series is based on more realistic directions, as if the robots or mobile suits as if were, would actually exist in the real world. This includes the timeless iconography of labeling the panels as if it serves a purpose for the robots. Katoki Hajime, one of the most prolific and well-known designers of mechas in Japan, popularized this signature of labeling the panels for his designs and has become an icon in the genre. This is very much the whole idea behind this G-Shock Square. All of the functions are nicely labeled on the titanium bezel and the bracelet all over. The buttons are not just labeled, but it matches the instruction manual's alphanumeric legends. The light is encircled in red for emphasis and is a very nice accent for the bezel. The light button itself has a red ring around it with a red top detail to further tie itself to the bezel's legends. What's unique with this bezel is that it's perforated on the lug area to expose the resin cushioning material. This is a brilliant design idea that both looks great and at the same time serves as an exhibition of the technology. The DLC coating is also expressly labeled all over the bezel and bracelet. From what we can work out from the images, some parts are also references right at the exterior of the watch, such as the S. Dash 1474 DV serial for the bracelet. These typically can be found under the watch, but in keeping with the theme, it is cleverly highlighted as part of the design. The links of the bracelet is carefully and individually numbered as well. I love this detail. It's as if it's an anatomical ID for that specific part. Further at the band, the removable links are also clearly labeled so you'll never mistake them for the fixed ones from the lugs. The clasp has the same multiband labels that we usually see on the case back, but here it is somewhat appropriately located on the band. I see what you did there, Casio, but this would have been nice if you reference a label here regarding the band, like unlatching mechanism. Missed opportunity there, Casio. 
All of these labels are laser etched so you can be sure that all of these labels will not be easily scratched off from the watch. This is using the same technology that they used with the Tron G-Shock Square. This is truly a unique watch that many anime lovers would surely be lining up for. However, it has a distinct Futura military vibe to it that also has a wide appeal to the male demographic. Many in the blogosphere are already crying foul on the price tag, but I'm sure if you don't pre-order one right away, we will be looking at another blue camo situation here. The expected release date is November of this year, and hopefully we can get a hands-on review on the channel. If I can afford one, that is.